Good morning, Sunday campers. I hope you had a great week. Today, we're going to be talking about the Battle of Jericho. Now, the Battle of Jericho takes place in the Old Testament, and it really adheres to the virtues of courage and trusting in God's instruction. So let's read a little bit about this. The Bible story of the Battle of Jericho is found in the book of Joshua, chapter 6. Now, this was the first conquest of the Israelites as they set out to win the land of Cana. And again, the Israelites are God's chosen people, just so we're clear on that. So scouts were sent out from Israel to creep into the walled city of Jericho and hide at the house of Rahab, a noted prostitute. Rahab had faith in God and formed the Israelites of Jericho's <clears throat> fear, saying, I know that the Lord has given you this land, and a great fear of you has fallen on us. So all who live in this country are melting in fear because of you. She helped the scouts hide from the king's soldiers and then helped them leave through a window since her house was located next to the city wall. She demanded that the spies affirm an oath as she swore not to give their plans away. They vowed to spare Rahab and her family when the Battle of Jericho occurred. She was fastened in a scarlet rope from her window as a symbol of their protection. God instructed Joshua with an unusual strategy of the, for the Battle of Jericho. He told Joshua to have his army march around the city once a day for six days straight. While marching, the soldiers played their trumpets as priests carried the Ark of the Covenant around the city of Jericho. On the seventh day, the Israelites marched around the walls of Jericho seven times. Joshua assured them that by God's order, everyone in the city must be slain, except for Rupi and her family. All items of gold, silver, and bronze, and iron were to go into the Lord's depository. And at Joshua's order, the men produced a powerful roar, and Jericho's walls miraculously fell down. And the Israelite army raced in quickly, conquering the city, and as promised, only Rahab and her family were spared. So today, we're going to build our own walls. Just like there was a wall in Jericho, sometimes we build up walls in our life, but God wants to bring those walls down so that we can be closer and reunited with him. So for this project, you're going to need cardboard, foam blocks, um, really anything that you've laying around, even pool noodles, that'll work too. But the biggest and most important is that you have some tape just to make sure your structure holds. And then you guys can march around and see how much pressure it takes by stomping your feet to get them to fall down. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next week.